Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I am super excited. I get to share with you a project, my very first project for Newton's Nook Designs. I am currently a brand new member of their design team. And so today's project, I get to share with you um, a card made with the Made From Scratch stamp set. Um, I picked this one because I thought it would be super fun. I am a baker and with Valentine's Day around the corner, I guess this card could be almost doubled as a Valentine's Day card too. So I'm super excited I get to share with you my very, fir my very first project. Um, I'm super excited to be part of the design team. I did leave a little bit of an announcement on the first of the year um, on my social media sites. If you follow me on Instagram or on my blog or even Facebook, um, I left a little message there. So today's the day. We're going to start off by doing some stamping. I'm stamping almost all the images in the stamp set. You have a whisk and a spoon, you got the rolling pin, you got all these little baking goodies. There's even a little mixer here. Um, the only image I'm not stamping is the um, oven mitt. Um, I don't think I'll have room for the oven mitt, but you know what, oven mitts are nice because you can actually use them for winter scenes as regular mittens. So if you have a baking set or even the made from scratch stamp set, um, you can use your mittens for winter scenes. <laughs> So I'm inking up my images with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm stamping them on some alcohol marker friendly paper and then we are going to do some coloring. I'm going to play a little music while I color and then when I'm done coloring guys, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. You can see here my blue marker was misbehaving. <laughs> and so um, I just re-stamped that bowl and then colored it in again. I'm taking my white gel pen and cleaning up wherever I went outside the lines. And then I did take the coordinating dies and I cut out each one of my little elements here. Okay, we're gonna create a background using the framework die set. This is from Newton's Nook Designs. Love the set. I love frames. So this was perfect for me. I um, took the two inside pieces, 
die cut them out at the same time. I actually left them together. I didn't separate them with my die cutters. Um, I just kept them together because I knew I would make a lot of frames with them. <laughs> okay, I am gonna. I created a panel that was the the same size as the inside of my scallop frame there. And now we're gonna go ahead and adhere some pink polka dotted pattern paper. The paper is pink with white polka dots, They're very dainty. And it kind of reminded me of an apron, especially with that um, scallop border frame. I just, something, I have an apron that looks pretty close to this and it's probably my favorite because of how dainty it looks. I always tease my husband and tell him I wanna wear high heels with my apron. <laughs> he always looks at me like I'm crazy, but um, probably am thinking I could wear high heels nowadays <laughs> but anyway I did take um, my scissors trimmed off the excess and then added a red bow off to the left here just using some red twine and I think that looks great we're gonna go ahead and adhere our background panel uh, directly on our a2 size card base it's a top folding I'm gonna use my tape runner and then I'm also gonna use my frame as a guide I had already added foam adhesive behind my frame, so that's ready to go. Once my um, inside panel is, is secure, I'll go ahead and remove the release paper off of my frame, and then that's going to go around our background panel here. I'm going to lift up the bow a little bit so we don't adhere that bow underneath the frame. And I just think that looks so pretty. I love the red and the pinks. I don't know. It just super cute <laughs> okay we're gonna kind of do a little bit of arranging before we commit to our placement here we're gonna add our bowl and our rolling pin you can see each one of the little elements have little hearts on there which I colored red so this could actually be a Valentine's Day card also I think it'd be cute if you send it with some cookies I think it'd be adorable <laughs> I think this looks good um, my, I think we're going to save the mixer bowl for another card. Um, I, I, maybe I just didn't like the blue that I colored the top part of it, but, um, we'll save that for another card. I did go ahead and color in two more bowls. What we're going to do is stack them on top of each other. Um, I'm going to kind of play some wonky. So we're going to take our craft knife and we're going to cut a slit in this very first bowl. We're going to go ahead and add our second bowl kind of tucking it on the inside we're gonna cover the spoon up but no worries we're gonna do the same thing to our second bowl add a little slit and then we'll tuck our last and final bowl on the inside so we only have one spoon show um, showing but believe it or not the spoons give extra support too <laughs> I like doing with this with coffee cups I love the stack look okay we're gonna add some foam squares behind our bowls We'll go ahead and add them to our background. Lovely. And then we're going to do the same with all of our little utensils, just adding foam adhesive behind each one of them. And I think that looks so fun. Okay, we're going to stamp our sentiment. Um, since our background panel is directly in our card base, I could get away with stamping my sentiment directly on my panel with um, all the elements on there. I chose the sentiment here that says, let's stir things up. I think that's just adorable. In the stamp set, there's a lot of fun sentiments. There's one that says, Whisking You a Happy Birthday, <laughs> which I thought was so cute. There's another one that says, Hot Stuff, which would go great with the oven mitt. And then there's another one that says, You Spin Me Right Round, which would be great to go with the mixer bowl. So a lot of fun little elements. Okay, once our sentiment's stamped, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few green sequins. I thought these green ones um, coordinated pretty well with the green um, in my utensils here. I just added a few and then that finishes off. No, I'm going to add some, um, not, not glossy accent. This is a um, morning dew. It acts like a glossy accent. I'm going to add those to all the little hearts. It's going to brighten them up and add a little bit of dimension to them. We're going to add a little bit of highlight detail with the white gel pen and then that finishes off my project for today, guys. Super excited to be part of the Newton Zip design team. Um, if you're interested in any of the products, I'll link them down below in the description area. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a lovely day, and we will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.